Come on, guys. You gotta sit with me here. Okay. Are you feeling good right there? <laughs> gotta get you moved around a little bit. Okay. All right, today's video, I wanna go over seed catalogs. This is a giant pile of seed catalogs. Now, with the exception of one of these, these were all free, and I wanna go over with you how you can get this information free and why you want seed catalogs and how it can be so exciting as well. Now, the reason for seed catalogs is Back in the day before there was internet, of course, there were these seed catalogs that came out for people to purchase seeds. The reason why they're useful now is because you can look at all sorts of different companies just while you're sitting in a waiting room, which isn't gonna happen now because of the pandemic. But while you're at home, you can request these catalogs and you can look at them at any time. In the description box below, I will link as many as I can in uh, the description that way you can just click on the link usually you just have to input your address and your uh, name and they will send these to you for free a lot of times you may find like right now i'm not sure if they would have like different companies may have a different seasonal catalog still available so like the 2020 catalog would have come out this january um, or this spring this December through this, this this spring here. Usually some companies will either have like seasonal catalogs or some will just publish one for the full year. Uh, so we, it just depends on the company. Um, and then some are obviously better than others. Some are more invested in different parts of the country, uh, different climates. Some are more for crops, fruits and vegetables. Others are more trees and bushes. I would just request as many as you can and um, just kind of look around. It's fun to look at these catalogs. Uh, there's no obligation. And then should you want to order some things, then you can kind of put together um, your list as well as you can shop around a little bit. Now I will kind of give you my favorites as well um, and some reasons as to why. Uh, and like this one here, so you could just go through and if you wanted to look up different varieties of tomatoes um, this would be a magazine or a catalog that's just mostly tomatoes they do have some other fruits and vegetables in here but this would be a good starting point to just kind of see all the different types of tomatoes that you can grow these catalogs are also really great because they do have descriptions of the fruit um, or vegetable and so you can kind of read about like if it's sweeter than another um the biggest thing is just kind of looking at remember we talked about in the previous video trying different things seeing um what new varieties you might like better than others now there are some people like my dad who likes to just kind of stick with the you know better boys and you know early girls and that's that's not a problem at all you always grow those if you have a tried and true favorite that you love you can always have those in the garden but then you can also have a couple plants of new varieties that you've never tried just to see how you might like it you may end up having a new favorite so this is the totally tomatoes okay so i have one from park seed so this would also be one that has a lot of flower varieties as well you'll see ones that have like berries and strawberries again you know some of these may have bushes where others may not necessarily have live plants for sale okay ones where you can also get bulbs for your onions and sets maybe some um, potato slips given the right time so i'm going to talk about johnny's in a little bit okay this is june seeds and plants for spring 2020 now, usually if you do sign up for these catalogs, they will um, send you a couple magazines or catalogs. And then if you don't really place an order, they may stop sending them to you. Uh, I wouldn't imagine, I, I would really assume that there would be some sort of like algorithm, you, should, you could say, where if they've sent out so many catalogs to a resident and they've never received an order, they could cancel that. But again, this is free. So, okay, and this one looks like it's mostly uh, plants and flowers. 
versus like crops, vegetables, okay? Some of these as well will have different equipment uh, that you could buy. So that would be another, uh, you know, instead of going on Pinterest, you could be looking through here and get different ideas for like vertical gardening. Here's one for seed select. And this one too looks like it's a lot of flowers. It's more flower based. Actually, this one looks like it's all flowers. There's definitely a benefit in adding flowers to your garden. It brings pollinators. You can have uh, a tea garden. There's a uh, Cracker Jack marigolds that you could plant, which also benefits from, you know, pests. It could be argued either way, but <laughs> marigolds, if you're wanting to plant those as pest relief, um, you can do that. Uh, as well as you can use Cracker Jack marigolds for tea. Okay, so definitely don't, if you're not really used to planting flowers in the garden, you definitely should. Um, again, it also brings pollinators and it brings beauty to your garden. Here's another uh, June, oh, it's Jung. Sorry about that, I didn't see that was a G instead of an E. <laughs> Jung seeds and plants. So this was the summer fall 2020. So see what happened here was they sent me a spring 2020 and then they sent a summer and a fall. Okay, so different crops could be in here. There could be new varieties that weren't available for spring or it could be some live plants that were added, you know, such as onions, things more for your fall garden. Okay, I've got one for botanical interest. The, and these are all, I mean, look at the thickness here, if it'll focus. I mean, these are all pretty lengthy. Um, there's also some of these that have like a pollinator mix or like a wildflower mix. So if you're not really sure like what to plant as far as flowers, but you wanted to have some sort of, like there's some in here, it's called Save the Bees. So a healthy garden is one abuzz with bees. Provide food for beneficial bee species with this colorful mix. So this will tell you that if you pay the $2.69, $2.69 for four grams worth of seeds, then it will cover approximately 56 square feet in your garden. So you could throw that out, just kind of mix that in. But again, this would be something that if you're not exactly sure what to plant for your pollinators, this is great for just kind of giving you an idea of what is included with this collection and this mixture. So you don't have to pick each seed out individually. You get a mix, a little bit of everything. We have Annie's heirloom seeds. Very, very cute. And a lot of these are just family owned businesses. Um, they started on a family farm and you'll see in here, like this one, for example, it tells their story as to how their company came about, why they're still operating, like if it's a um, passed down from generations those sorts of things. A lot of times they include, you know, their kids in the advertisement or, you know, friends and family. So it's just really fun to connect with other gardeners. And when you don't get into the drama aspect of gardening and you just have fun with it, build connections, you can really learn a lot of valuable information that's not necessarily in these catalogs or other books, but you can just connect with other gardeners. Here's another great one, which is Seed Savers Exchange. Look at how thick here. See, I mean, this is just so much information. Another great reason to have multiple catalogs is let's just say that you find something in um, Seed Savers and, but it was only one thing that you really wanted, but then you go over to Annie's and you see that they have the same thing, but they have more that you would like to get. So you could get your idea from this one and then just see if you could place one order with multiple different varieties that, you, that you've seen in other catalogs. That way you can just place one order. Or for example, as you can see, I'm wearing my Baker Creek hat. What's really nice about Baker Creek and rareseeds.com is the free shipping. So one of the nice things. So what I did was, this was probably one of the first catalogs that I signed up for because this is the 2019 seed catalog where this was the 2020. Ah, 2020. Okay, so what you can do here is you can kind of um, see, you know, the difference that they may have from season to season. Okay, and this one, for example, has free shipping on all orders over $50. Mm -hmm. all right, we had seed savers. 
Stokes. So this was actually last year. Uh, we found Stokes uh, warehouse or one of their warehouses in Minnesota, Wisconsin, New York. Where were we? New York. <laughs> we were in New York and uh, they, they didn't have any tours available or anything, but he did give me quite a couple, um, quite a few catalogs. So that was pretty cool to just kind of talk with the guy for a little bit. And this is the 2019 garden accessories catalog and then a 2020 gardening guide. Have this one. Okay. We have territorial. Okay. We have one from Burpee. Um, honestly, I've not ordered from all of these companies before, so I can't really give you an idea of, um, you know, a preference other than we're going to talk about Baker Creek in a little bit. But look at this giant tomato here. This guy is huge. So that's what I'm saying is it's so fun to just go through and read the descriptions about all the different tomatoes and get a good idea of what you'd like to grow in your upcoming garden. These three are from Johnny's Seeds, okay? Now I have not yet placed an order through Johnny's Seeds before. However, I do wanna tell you that I plan to in the future place an order because Johnny's Seeds seems to be very high quality. Um, I've heard a lot of great things. The only issue that I have with them is their free shipping is on $200. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really go around throwing out $200 at a time for seeds. So kind of what I've come up with a conclusion on here is they're a little bit more geared towards like wholesale buyers or florists, maybe not florists themselves unless they have their own flower garden, but like those who are growing commercially, okay? But what I love about Johnny Seeds is their variety of flowers. So they have a ton of like, so let's just say, cause I'm in Arizona, so we do love to grow sunflowers here. They have a bunch of pollenless sunflowers. Now, if you're growing a cut uh, garden, a, a, a cut flower garden, yes. <laughs> if you're growing a cut flower garden, then this would be a great resource to grab some flower seeds from. They also have, you know, fruits and vegetables. I know a lot of people that are pretty die-hard Johnny's customers, so I don't see any reason why not to order from them. I just kind of lazy and cheap and don't want to pay shipping, though I will be placing an order with Johnny's here in the near future. Okay. Now, biggest guy here. So this is Baker Creek at rareseeds.com. Now this is a catalog, this is a book uh, that you do have to pay for, okay? So they do have a free, which I did actually gift out. They do have a free catalog um, that you can order online um, and you can just sign up for with your web address, uh, with your email address. And it's about this size, so it's a pretty good sized catalog. Definitely recommend going on there and grabbing that free catalog from Baker Creek, 100%, 100%. Now they do have uh, a wholesale or a bulk, and that's what this guy is here. So what I love and why I would recommend you go online today and purchase this whole seed catalog is so you can learn, okay? And get excited, even more excited about gardening. I know that you're super excited right now, but this is gonna make you even more excited and even more addicted to the hobby. Now the whole seed, whole seed catalog here, it normally runs for $12.95. Long story short, this season it is only $9.95 per catalog. And this is 450 pages worth of a catalog, okay? Now what stands out most about the Baker Creek catalog is that it not only has recipes, it not only has the story of Baker Creek and how that came about, but it also has history of these heirloom seeds, where they came from, how they were discovered, and you can learn so much about different varieties of fruits and vegetables that you would have never known otherwise. Uh, this pumpkin behind me here, it's one that I showed you the seeds from the other day. So actually I'll give you a close up of that real quick. 
So this is the coolest pumpkin. I would have never ever grown this had I not seen this in this catalog. None of the garden gardeners that I've talked to have seen this before. And so what I can do is I can give them a history. This was a lost variety. It was refound. Uh, it's, it's from France. Um, and it's just really cool to be able to talk about these different varieties and not just say, oh yeah, I'm growing pumpkins. I can say, check this pumpkin out. This is the coolest thing. This is from France. It was rediscovered. So I just really encourage you to, um, to just branch out, try different things, order some of these seed catalogs, whether it be the free ones, whether you start with the free ones, um, whether you go on, I mean, just pages and pages and pages of bright, colorful, beautiful, I'm just in awe guys. I was so reluctant. When, when I found out that I had to pay for this catalog, I was like, are you kidding me? You want me to pay for something that I'm just going to end up spending money on later on to purchase the seeds? Like, I'm not going to buy something basically twice. But then I educated myself. I asked around. I got some opinions. And 100% I was told, you need it. You're going to love it. And perhaps you don't buy one every year. You can go online to rareseeds.com and you can see all of this information. I'm not saying that there's anything special in this catalog that there's not online. I'm just saying that you can have this at your fingertips. You can look at it on a whim when you're not staring at a computer. And it just it's just a great reference. And it's so beautiful to look at. And it's definitely well worth the money. And perhaps you don't buy one next year. That's totally fine. Buy one every five years, maybe. But my suggestion to you is to get some free catalogs, look through them, have them come into you in the mail, and use these. They're so fun, they're so beautiful, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, any information, please just let me know. Thanks for hanging out in today's video. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.